hi welcome again here i'm using ultra dynamic weather and you can see snow trails on this landscape here we are using a virtual height field mesh and now you can see we have clear snow deformation in my landscape and here we're using open land to add the virtual height field mesh support and the reason why we are using virtual height field mesh which is important because this is the only way you can have dynamic uh, displacement in Unreal Engine 5 even though I'm using Unreal Engine 4.26 uh, when Unreal Engine 5 released for the public use you can definitely use this functionality and uh, you cannot use this functionality right now with Unreal Engine 5 just because ultra dynamic weather is not uh, supported by Unreal Engine 5 especially on the snow deformation side but if you just want the uh, the Parallelpex and the rain system, it's gonna work. And also I can demo the uh, rain effects as well. Like this, it's a little bit cloudy, uh, but you can see, uh, see there are some Parallelpex on my ground. And I'm gonna show you how to create all of these things from scratch. Here we're using RVT uh, for the ground layer and you can use all the features of OpenLand as well. All right, uh, let's delete this map and let's start from the beginning. First, I'm gonna go file and new level empty level uh, i don't want to save this right i'm gonna save this new level uh, maybe uh yeah main something like that all right so now i have an empty level the main thing is you need to get the uh, the latest version of ultra dynamic sky and also the latest version of open land and check the description uh, below for get all these versions from the marketplace and then i'm gonna go to the ultra dynamic sky uh, directory here we have a blueprint directory then you need to uh, add the ultra dynamic sky this blueprint into your scene then you have a sky system like this uh, and later on we will add the ultra dynamic weather as well but not right now now let's create our landscape here i'm gonna go to modes landscape then i'm gonna I'm going to use a simple height map file that i created uh, like this you don't need to use this exact uh, height map or you can even sculpt your landscape but in this case i find it useful uh, simple and if you want to get this height map check the description i'll link for that as well but this is completely simple one and then you need to select the material for, for this one we need to use the open lands uh, material instant go to content open land themes default and now we have the in my open land team default i'm i'm gonna use the default theme i'm gonna select this one then it will start to compilation sometimes and, and let's wait now i'm gonna click the import button so it will import the landscape right now if i go a little bit higher now you can see something like a mirror that's totally fine now i'm going to go to my paint section and then from the uh, paint layers i'm gonna select the first one auto forest and i'm gonna select the layer info the first one and then it, it will automatically apply the auto material this auto material for whole my landscape it will take some time like this okay and then i'm gonna close this one right now we have a system like this and i mentioned earlier that we are going to use virtual height field mesh uh, for this system and uh, let me show you how to enable that i'm going to save this level first then i'm going to go to edit project settings and search for virtual here we have a checkbox called enable virtual texture support under the virtual texture section and try to check that and then I close this uh, window then go to edit plugins and search for virtual here we have a plugin called virtual height field mesh and enable that as well also search for editor scripting here we have another function called editor scripting utilities make sure to enable that as well if everything is done uh, you can close this window and then you need to restart your project so basically uh, you need to close this project and reopen that so i have already done that i have already added these plugins and settings i don't need to restart this one so so now we can continue then go to open land directory from the content browser widgets here we have a couple of widgets and i need to select the hf mesh widget i'm going to right click on this one and then click run editor utility widget then you will have a button like add hf mesh support so i'm going to click that and then you will ask to do some steps uh, like this you can of course read this uh, text and implement these steps but i'm going to show you how to do that uh, in this tutorial so i'm going to close this one i'm going to select the rvt volume material like this one and go to the details panel and virtual sec texture section and i'm going to select the virtual texture rvt open land material it's quite important to select that one and then i'm going to select the rvt volume height and then the virtual texture section i'm going to select rvt open land height not the other one 
and then uh, I'm going to go to the virtual HF mesh uh, actor and from the uh, virtual texture section over here I'm going to select the RVT volume height and then I'm going to go to my landscape select landscape search for virtual now here we have something called draw in main pass I'm going to set this to never so basically what we are saying is now now we don't render the landscape as usual so, uh, so we are going to use the virtual height field mesh to render my landscape so i can show you in order to do that i'm going to click this lit button and i'm going to select the brush wireframe now you can see uh, my landscape it is shown in the this yellow color or something like that but then i can select something else in my world outline so that yellow thing is gone now we have the high detailed mesh called uh, virtual height field mesh like this one so this is a very detailed mesh so we can do quite interesting things like this so you can get displacement uh, with high details and of course you can dynamically change them that's what we're gonna show you right now with the ultra dynamic weather system right uh, i'm gonna go to the lead mode all right now everything is ready for our uh, landscape site i can play my level and yep yeah, everything looks good all right now it's time to add the ultra dynamic weather i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna go to content ultra dynamic sky blueprints here we have a blueprint called ultra dynamic weather i'm gonna drag that into my scene immediately i get some effects like this nice and then uh, le let me play my uh, level the the volume is too high uh, i'm gonna reduce the volume right now i'm gonna select this one and search for volume and you don't need to do that because i'm recording this one that's why i'm gonna reduce this i'm gonna set that to 0 0.05 for all the volumes then here I can select for different presets. For example, here I'm gonna to go to clear sky. So something like this. And then I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna select something like rain, like this. And, and here we have cloud coverage. So you can uh, fine tune these settings further. So here in this case, I don't like to have this much of cloud. I'm gonna produce it like this, something like this. Then I can play my level. You can see some rain effects. You can see particles, rain particles, but there's nothing happening in my landscape. And let's try to uh, change the landscape to get this functionality. In order to do that, I'm going to open my open land landscape material. Go to my landscape. Here, I'm going to double click and open my landscape material. And then scroll to the bottom. And we have the M open land. This is the master material. And I'm going to customize my master material. And I want to mention something. So if you're trying to do it in a production system, uh, try to not to edit this master material and try to create a duplicate and edit that. And I check the open land documentation on modular development so you get uh, more information on how to do that. So if you do that, you can get uh, updates uh, very easily from us. Right, then uh, right click on your material and search for UDW. And here we have a function called um, open land UDW support. And this is something comes with open land, which is a fine tune for open land uh, integration with ultra dynamic weather, which works with the height field mesh and so on and connect this in between uh, this line and here right like this right and it is pretty important like uh, do it in front of this uh, rvt stubs uh, because we are rely on this rvt stuff for the virtual height field mesh and so on right i'm gonna s apply and save this it will take some time for the compilation now i think everything is ready from the landscape side and let me play my level Right, nothing happens. And that's because we need to change some, some of the settings on my uh, landscape uh, and ultra dynamic with the actors. Select your landscape and search here dynamic and select this dynamic material instance. Use this use dynamic material instance checkbox. And this is really important. And this is one of the key important things you have to do. And then uh, go to the ultra dynamic weather and search for landscape. Here we have a checkbox called enable dynamic landscape weather effects. Simply click that. All right, now uh, you can simply play your level. Right now you can see some puddle effects like this. You can see many and in order to add more puddles, which I like in this case, I can select the ultra dynamic weather and search for puddles. And here we have a section called puddle coverage. I can increase this one like this. And I'm gonna play my level. Yeah, you can see some puddles like this, but you can see there are some uh, prepples if you look closer here, but they are static. Just you can see some circles and they're not moving. But it's very easy to fix that one. Go to the content, 
open land directory blueprints and then simply drag this rvt invalidator into your scene all right now if you play your game right now now you can see puddle effects basically when the raindrops hits the material then you can see some yeah changes in the material and then that's exactly what you want and if you want to know more about these rvt data invalidation and i have a video for that one check the description below for that one for now this is all you need now everything looks good but if i walk on these puddles you can see there is no interaction it's just like it's just like i'm walking on on top of glass we can fix that uh, go to the ultra dynamic sky blueprints and weather effects and here we have a component called dl we interaction component uh, we're going to use that in our character and here's how to do that i'm going to using another content browser i'm going to my content directory here we are using the default third person character but if you're using a different character and you need to open the uh, character blueprint uh, in this case this is the character blueprint and here i'm going to add some components of this component basically dlwe interaction component i'm going to select my mesh and add component dlwe yeah this interaction component i'm going to duplicate that as well i need to have two of them for each of my foot right then i'm going to add that into my foot over here i'm going to select one of those component and from the details panel parent socket i'm going to select this uh, this search icon and maybe search for foot left something like that and then simply arrange it to like to over here basically in middle of your foot something like this okay i'm gonna do the same thing for other one as well it should be foot r right right and now everything is set up like this okay it looks good and here on there are there are some settings like sound effects like you can modify these things but in this case i'm gonna re reduce the sound effects for a, something like this because it will affect the recording and that's the only reason you don't need to do this if you are working on a game right and save everything now i'm gonna play my game now if i walk on this puddle section now you can clear this is there are some change uh, in my landscape right and yeah that's exactly what we need now let's try to work with snow i'm gonna select the ultra dynamic weather here i'm gonna select the weather preset as snow and I'm gonna reduce the cloud cover a little bit. But now, you, if you see clearly, there are some artifacts over here. So that's because we change because that's because of the use of RVT. And you can easily change that by going to the RVT invalidator and select this invalidate all, all button, and it will fix everything. Uh, and this is editor time. You don't need to do it uh, in, in the runtime. And I'm gonna run this game. Now you can get dynamic snow effects. Yeah, over here, yeah, you can clearly see them. And yeah, this is exactly what we need. Reduce the cloud cover a little bit further. And you can get more light. And yeah, this is the snow effects. And this is height field mesh. We are changing the height field mesh. I can show you in the brush wireframe mode. As I walk over here, you can see there are some mesh changes like this. And it's, it's pretty nice. And there is one thing you need to think about. That's the RVT invalidator. So you need to enable this. You need to add this. If you didn't do that, and this is not going to work. And I'm going to delete this for a moment. And I'm going to play my game. And you can see now I can walk over here. But there's nothing uh, much changing. And it's just like, yeah, sometimes it works. But sometimes it doesn't. So that's because of the uh, RVTs are not invalidating properly. So that's why you need to drag this content open land blueprints rvt invalidator into your scene and just play it and yeah you can get these uh, stuff i have a separate video about this rvt invalidator uh, just check the description to learn more about this but this is all you need to do right now we have the ultra dynamic weather and uh, we have snow effects rain effects uh, play interaction and i mean all of those things here i haven't covered the ultra dynamic sky weather effects volumes and because i already talk about that in a different video i'll add a link in the description about that all right i hope this will be interesting and useful see you soon with something interesting bye